It's a beautiful day. It really, really is a beautiful day today. I think it's the hottest day of the year. 23 degrees yes. it's going to be. Last year before the winter came, we were able to get in our solar system, which is really working out so fantastically. Yeah. We are definitely seeing such a change in our system, change in our electricity consumption. It has definitely been a huge improvement. Unfortunately, we were not able to finish off the whole system last year because winter hit, all the snow came, so yeah, we weren't it was able... quite late. Yeah, it was quite late. Yeah. We weren't able to put in the grounding system. Mm. Hopefully, the ground is defrosted enough that we can get in the grounding system. We need to do that as soon as possible. Here in Mongolia, June and July is lightning season mm -hmm. and the sky is lit up with lightning all the time. Mm -hmm. You guys have seen any of the huge storms we've had over the years, which makes solar panels very, very dangerous in Mongolia. Mm -hmm. And we don't want lightning to hit this. So we need to put in grounding as soon as possible. So we have all the recommendations from Clean Resource Development how to do it. Mm, yeah. So let me show you our plan and let's see if we can get this grounding system in. We have two solar mounts. We have one in the front and one in the back, which is running two different strings. Because of the way it's built, we're gonna have to have two separate grounds, one for the front and one for the back mount. The front mount, we will do the grounding in the front and the back, we will do the grounding at the back. This is the first time we're doing a grounding system. So it's a little bit new to us. All the investigations and information that we got about what grounding system we need for the size of solar system that we have. With our diagram, basically what we need to do is we need to have the grounding two and a half meters away from the solar panels. We also need to have three points of entry. So three metals that go into the ground two and a half meters down, and they need to be two meters across in kind of like this triangle shape. So what we need to do is we need to mark out two meters, two meters, two meters. We need to dig down 50 centimeters, and then we need to drive three metal pipes two and a half meters into the ground. Then we need to weld these three triangles together. Then we need to run a copper cable from this triangle metal that's in the ground to our solar panel mount and attach it to that. Because it's a metal frame, they are all attached together. We just need to link the three frames together and then we save. So we have to do one of these triangle systems here, one of the triangle systems in the front and then we should be fine. It's gonna be a lot of digging. Hopefully we can get down and see how frozen the ground is. Mm -hmm. So we marked it out. Let's dig this up and then we can start to install the ground metal. It's gonna be a lot of digging for the next couple of days. Yeah. Marking off. Way to dig. Daddy making an extra box. Do this. Triangle. Mm. Now you're dead. No, I did. You help with daddy. I have no like this. I mean with back Um my one is not so strong. Okay. You make it hard? No, I'm not going in. <laughs> well, Dad is finding a treasure. <laughs> what a hell, coin and a crown. Oh, wow. That would be nice. Like, how golden crown. Wow, <gasps> dear. Good job, Daddy. Good job, Daddy. Good job, Daddy. <laughs> Nana. What are you doing? We have to go 50 down but we're going to have a metal that's going to be welded around so we don't need to dig there. I'm just trying to save the grass so once we do the grounding we can come and put the grass back and it can heal much faster. So that's this puzzle. <laughs> then I know how to put it back. <laughs> it doesn't look good. <laughs> So the first one is done, dug out the triangle, 50 centimeters down. We have done a little channel between here and... Daddy! Yes? We're gonna dig here and get the coin. Okay. Oh, you okay. didn't find the coin. No coins. And next time, maybe the next hole. And no 
Don't treasure. <laughs> don't treasure. Oh. Now we need to do the front one, and then we can start cutting up all the metal to go down and weld it all up. It's not that complicated, but it's manual labor. Mm -hmm. It's my job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Round two. Right. Round two, second triangle. <laughs> yeah. Somebody flying over, they're going to see the triangles and think there's some <laughs> something strange. Some symbols. <laughs> the problem about Mongolia is the winters are so long and so cold, you acclimatize to it. So you get this like, it's not like gradual increase of temperature. It's like cold one day, bang, hot the next. Mm -hmm. ah, and you're not yeah. used to it. Yep. Surprising for me for being a South African boy. <laughs> I should be able to handle the heat. Exactly. Ah. Now you are now more Mongolia. Yeah, more Mongolia. <laughs> <laughs> you know that. There's some funny videos that someone like actually work and then I do it like this. Yeah, 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 We got both holes dig, dug, dug. We got both holes dug. So now what we need to do is we need to go and cut up the metal and see how we can get it into the ground. That's going to be the struggle. This side is okay. It's, we didn't find any rock or stone. Yeah, but the other side is and lots of stones. This side it's lots of rock. Okay, let's figure it out. Basically, this is what we have for the metal to drive into the ground we're using this owl shape metal so three of these we will see how we can actually get these deep into the ground but i thought just to help ourselves out a little bit cut the one end make it a little bit sharper and that will help us maybe get it into the ground we will see Basically, we need to drive these six poles into the ground. It's called a post driver. It's kind of a round piece of metal. It has handles and solid here, and you can kind of bang uh, posts down. I haven't seen that in Mongolia. I don't know if you can get it probably, but anyway, I'm going to make my own one. I got this square piece of steel that we had, so I'm just going to cut the four ends and then kind of collapse it on each other, weld it up, and maybe make some handles, and then I'll be able to drive the post down. I think that will be easier. Mm. Oh, let's make one up. <laughs> I'm just going to weld it all shut and then hopefully that will be strong enough. Bang, bang. <laughs> Hope so. Daddy finished. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do this. Okay. Daddy! There we go. I'm going to fold it and I'm going to paint it. Just paint it. Signed. Autographed. <laughs> no, it's okay. So, easy peasy. Now I have the power. <laughs> okay. Did it work? Made a tool. Made a tool. I made a thing. Thing! <laughs> Is that be good?
exhausted. Hard work. We've been pounding these down pretty much all day and just taking a, a rest for five minutes and then pounding more. Zula's dad actually came to give us a hand as well because he had a big hammer. So we were able to get it pretty much most of the way, <laughs> as you can see. It's not completely all the way, but it's deep enough. What we need to do now is we have this metal that we're going to join, join the two pieces together underground, weld it. And then once we've done that, we can cut these so they're beneath the ground. And then we can run the cables before we put everything back. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Good job! My going to hate me tomorrow. <laughs> but anyway. It's okay, tomorrow's the rest day. Tomorrow's, tomorrow's the rest day. Okay, let's go. Okay. safe yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah look definitely one of the best skills that I've ever learned what's that it's welding <laughs> lights cooking of course but <laughs> off you know Yo. how's it good <laughs> yeah of course it was a lot of work yeah but most we, important job yeah. We need to get it done mm -hmm. because we want to connect it up to the grid so that we can give power back to the grid and collect the points and before we can do that they want to come and check that everything is correct and mm -hmm. the grounding is in and things like that so before we can start giving to the grid we need to have this done so as soon as possible yep. hello baby <laughs> <laughs> i think we're done for today we got everything connected up yes but I think we want to call it quits for today. Our muscles are... Yeah, my hand is off. It's like being at gym all day. <laughs> yes. That was good. <laughs> it was good. I think we get back to this tomorrow and sort all this out so that it's ready for inspection. Yeah. So that we can connect everything to the grid. And get back yeah. as soon as possible. It was a big job. It was simple. It was, yeah, <laughs> it was but a simple job, but it was a lot of work. Yeah. Good muscles. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Today is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful day. But we got to crack on. We have so many things to get done around the homestead. I want to finish off this piping for the ground system so that I can start to backfill. This morning I was making a fresh batch of bacon, which is always great to have. Zula is keeping busy in the greenhouse. There's a lot of things to do in there. So it's going to be a busy week. We have a couple of more things that we need to finish off this week. But first, I want to get this one done. We were able to get the cable connected to the ground mount and to the ground system, but I didn't feel that this was a good idea to just run the cable underground. So I got some of this black conduiting piping, just take it off and run it there before we start to backfill. I also need to actually attach, well, I need to do one of these for the front one as well. These are actually three individual mounts. So I just need to weld some metal to join them all together and then we can backfill everything. <laughs> oh, so cute. You cute? No, this soft thing is cute.
just welded a piece of metal from one frame to the next because there's a little bit of a gap so now that now all three frames all three frames are connected means they're all grounded great so now we just slap on some paint and we're done Good. Not exactly where to put it. We have been working out where exactly. Doing grounding system, so I had to. <laughs> this is the first time. Yes. Yahweh. Yes, it's okay. <laughs> That's the beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. It's done. We have four. Uh,